Hi there, my name is Ashley Moretti and I'm the Curator of Collections and Exhibitions for the Erie Canal Museum in downtown Syracuse, New York. The museum is still closed due to the COVID-19 pandemic, although we are going to be reopening in the next couple of weeks. Uh, this is yet another preview video for our new exhibit that is going to be open as soon as you guys can come visit us again, called Syracuse and the Erie Canal 200 Years. I'm broadcasting today from the Inner Harbor of Syracuse. This is right on Onondaga Lake, uh, just a little ways from downtown. Clinton Square in nearby downtown Syracuse had a packet boat dock to uh, dispatch packet boats to go out onto Onondaga Lake for day trips. Another site of recreation on Onondaga Lake was White City Amusement Park, which was open from 1906 until 1915 and was known for its over 25,000 electric lights. There were several other such amusement parks uh, located on Onondaga Lake during the early part of the 20th century. Now the famous brine springs uh, from which salt was produced in the Syracuse area are here on the southern end of the lake as well. During the industrialization of the Syracuse region, all areas of the shoreline of Onondaga Lake were overdeveloped and a lot of uh, industrial and domestic dumping occurred, resulting in Onondaga Lake being named the most polluted lake in America. Uh, extensive cleanup efforts have been underway in the last uh, 30 to 40 years or so. The lake still has not quite met those benchmarks set forth by state agencies and by the Environmental Protection Agency. In the early part of the 20th century, the major polluter of Onondaga Lake was Allied Chemical, which was acquired by Honeywell. Honeywell has spent, since spent over a billion dollars on cleanup efforts for Onondaga Lake. So of course, modern day Syracuse does not have a connection to the modern New York State Canal System, also known as the Barge Canal. But if you live in Syracuse and you have a boat, this is the area that you can get to the New York State Canal System. Onondaga Lake is connected to the modern Erie Canal. And right here is the Inner Harbor Amphitheater, which plays host to performing arts and musical events. And of course, just beyond is Destiny USA, a shopping mall and entertainment complex, which is one of the largest shopping malls in America. So thanks for coming along with me today to the Syracuse Inner Harbor. Uh, if you've been enjoying these videos that the museum has been producing, you can support the museum financially during this difficult time. I'll put a link in the comment section. Thank you very much, and I hope to see you soon when the museum reopens. Thanks. Take care.